Hello friends, Jack here, The Vegan Dad. Here for our monthly grocery haul at Woolworths and Coles. This monthly haul, we do these bulk hauls every single month and we also do a bulk haul at Costco as well. So definitely do check out those other videos in the past. Anyway, we budget about $390 for this massive bulk haul. The idea is that the majority of these items will get us through the month. And then we do some top up shops that are about $80 each week of any items that we are running low on or any other fresh produce that we require. So anyway, I am so keen to get into this massive haul. So many new items in there. I really can't wait to show you a bunch of these new items. It is absolutely unreal of what is coming out that is vegan friendly in Australia in 2022. This is amazing. So anyway, let's get into this haul straight away. Here we go, friends. A massive haul here, a bunch of new items. We've got Coles and Dam here as well. Right, I'm gonna start off with Woolies. So this Woolies shop came in just over $200 here. So we've got a bunch of items in here. Bunch of new items as well. So let's start off down here. Just got some sultanas. I've actually been really loving um, chucking some sultanas in with my rolled oats in the morning. What I actually want to talk about with Colgate. So Colgate, if you did not know, they've actually recently changed this on the packaging of their products here, vegan friendly. So a lot of the Colgate brand is actually vegan friendly, but definitely if you're wondering about toothpaste, definitely look out for this on Colgate, so vegan friendly there. Silk and tofu, so I'm actually gonna be making some souvlakis this weekend, and I'm actually gonna be making my very delicious tzatziki using silk and tofu. I have my recipe website that you can check out, thatvegandad.net, that has this amazing tzatziki recipe on it. I know some Greek people that have made this and they love it, so that is the ultimate test, passing the Greek test tzatziki fantastic over here we've got some salted pretzel twists some Woolworths a couple packs of them great for lunch boxes great for easy snacks got some garlic bread here just one pack not actually really having a lot of garlic bread lately to be honest kind of going off it a little bit but just got one packet here but that is really affordable garlic bread from Woolies which is vegan friendly. Over here, we've got the meat-free four and 20 plant-based meat-free pies. These are just a fantastic option to have in the freezer when you don't want to cook, very convenient to have. And then another convenient one is these cocktail spring rolls. These are last couple months and these are actually really fantastic. A massive packet here. So this is definitely worth having into your freezer, both of these items here. Vegan friendly snacks here. So this is the snack corner. So these burger rings are actually vegan fr friendly. So the Smith's company have an odd way of showing their accidentally vegan items like may contain dairy items. So it actually does say it contains milk or milk products. Legally in Australia, companies actually have to state what allergens are in the ingredients. So as you can see here, you can see corn, rice, soy. So generally, if it does have dairy in it, it will have it in brackets as milk. So this is just their may contain system here. So a lot of people get confused about this one. A lot of Smith's products say the same thing, but burger rings are accidentally vegan friendly. And then over here, another accidentally vegan friendly item is the Arnott's Shapes Barbecue. Fantastic, great snacks here. Over here as well, there's a new accidentally vegan item as well, the Passport Flavors Pringles Brazilian style barbecue grill flavor. So I have not tried these, but these are accidentally vegan friendly as well. Over here, just a can of coconut milk used in sauce bases. Got a couple cans already, so just needed the one. Jackfruit, very versatile product actually. It's really great texture. I've been cooking it in pies i've been cooking it in a lot of different stuff like I, I can make like savlaki meat using jackfruit so i love having a couple cans of jackfruit on ham down here the fancy plants chocolate silky pots two packets of these so these go on about half price quite often and they are definitely worth it at half price um, normally they're five dollars for two which isn't bad these are actually really fantastic so vegan friendly gluten free and contains prebiotics as well as fiber and calcium so it is fantastic to have it on hand but when they are half price definitely definitely worth grabbing a few of these over here the macro tofu probably my favorite tofu to cook with at the moment so two of them got a couple in the fridge as well down here so this is an interesting one so beef style stock cubes from mussels 
are actually vegan friendly. Pretty sure the entire range of mussels is actually vegan friendly and including their beef style here. So what it actually had, I don't know if like people <laughs> take as much notice as me, but probably about a year ago, mussel had up the top here, a, like a green thing saying, a green label here saying plant-based. Um, they've got rid of that recently. I don't know if it's some like backlash from customers, but as you can read down here, so it's got dairy free, gluten free, and then on the corner here, it actually says no animal content. New product here, limited release item. I haven't tried it yet, the scone loaf. Um, from all reports, everyone is loving it. I love scones anyway, so that is fantastic there to try out. New items as well, We've got the Oreo double stuff. So chalk hazelnut flavor and then cinnamon and barn. Both of these sound fantastic. And again, early reports from people, these are also very, very delicious. So gonna be keen to try them out. Over here, three cans of chickpeas, just stocking up the old pantry. Got the vegan mayo from Heinz here, two of them, so they're on special. Um, probably the best vegan mayo currently going around in my opinion. Two tins of pineapple slices here. I'm gonna talk about what, what I'm gonna be making with these in a moment. Over here, this is a really good one to have if you love cooking your stir fries or whatever vegetarian oyster sauce very very flavorsome and is vegan friendly as you can see there so a lot of people don't know about this one but this one is so handy to have in your pantry and is super flavorsome as well over here just stocking up some lentils three tins of the lentils we've got the plantitude mac and cheese uh, again this is just a really great item to have on hand like we might get one of these every two months but you know, if we're a bit lazy and the kids want a quick snack, the mac and cheese always comes in handy. Planetude one, really great option, really affordable. Probably just needs a little bit more like salt or like a bit more flavoring on it, but it is still nevertheless a fantastic option. Over here, we've got four liters of the Vita Soy Calci Plus. Um, fantastic to have on hand and really high content of calcium in here, as we can see here. Down the bottom, it's fortified with like B12, vitamin D, which is fantastic, and then calcium, um, a really great way for the kids to get their calcium calcium in. Over here, we've got the dairy-free up and goes, really fantastic, we're getting these once a month, 12 pack here, really convenient as well, and if you used to love up and goes, these dairy-free ones are fantastic. Got some broccoli, frozen broccoli, um, I just, we love our broccoli, but it is a shame at the moment because one broccoli is probably about $8. So it is really expensive to get fresh broccoli at the moment. So I just got some frozen broccoli here to have on hand. This is Tip Top's new burger bun range here, which are actually vegan friendly. So we've got like potato burger buns. I don't even know what that means. Probably made from potato. And then the gourmet premium burger buns here as well so like your brioche buns if you can't fry, find the fries family brioche buns this will hopefully be a really fantastic alternative five dollars each so a little bit more cheaper than the fries burger buns as well and as we can see on the packet i'm here suitable for vegans so i love that companies are doing this showing it on their packets making it much easier to identify in the shops that what items are actually vegan friendly so these two new ones there i'm really keen to try them out over here we've got some plant-based ham slices from maliora so if you have not seen my taste test review definitely check it out because these so far are probably my number one product of 2022 i really love the taste texture so spot on to what actual ham is like so this plant-based alternative is hands down the best so really affordable as well a bunch of slices in there as you can see what i'm actually going to be doing with the pineapple the ham and down here we've got some tip top pizza bases we're going to make hawaiian pizzas friend so we're going to be banking them up keen to make Finally, Hawaiian pizza. Over here, we've got the Savlaki wraps. So as I said before, I'm gonna make some Savlaki's um, with tzatziki, so just got them. These are vegan friendly. Um, here, we just got some mini jelly cups here. These are just really great to have on hand. We actually haven't really bought these for a while. Um, we don't go through a lot of these, but these are actually vegan friendly. It is sometimes hard to find vegan friendly 
jelly. We've got here some dinner rolls. Just chuck them in the freezer. Great to have on hand. Who does not love dinner rolls? I believe this item right here should be in every vegan's pantry. So, so tasty. Makes items taste a little bit cheesy, but actually also really good for you as well. So really high in B vitamins, protein. Honestly, if you wanna try a great item, avocado on toast, and sprinkle some nutritional yeast on top as well. And you will come back later and go, Jack, that was the best thing I have ever tasted. So definitely try out that little idea. There we go, friends. That was it. I'm pretty sure I spoke about all these items here, but anyway, just over $200. So many new items in here, but I really want to get into Coles because there's even more new items in at Coles. So here it is, friends. Coles shop here. I think it came in about $80 or something like that. It was pretty cheap, but a little bit expensive for the fact that barely got any items. Four packets of the Veggie Delight sausages here. Love having them on hand. The kids are getting bigger. They're eating more. We used to get maybe like two packets a month. Now we've got to get four. The best corn chips going around. If you have not tried this in the health food aisle, these wholesome vegan corn chips, super flavorsome. A little bit more expensive, $5 is expensive, but sometimes it is half price, $2.50 and is honestly so worth it. It is full of flavor. Over here, a new item that I saw in Coles, the chocolate peanut butter smooth. So I love my peanut butter, but choc peanut butter? I'm really interested to try this one out, but this one is accidentally vegan friendly. This is your fancy cheese here. So we've got your cashew ash brie. So I actually really do like this one. This one is, a, a, a nice, it's nice to have a nice quality of vegan cheese available. So if you are looking for this one, it is available at Coles. It isn't with all the other vegan cheese, it is with the fancy cheese, like deli section. So definitely keep an eye out for that. In Nature's Kitchen, grated cheese, and then the Nature's Kitchen, two packets of the cheese slices. I wanna talk about this new item, corn. Have some rawsomes, little crunchy dinosaur shaped items here so really keen to try these out i'm sure their kids are gonna love them these are newly available at coles and then we also got these the fries popcorn chicken the plant-based popcorn chicken so so delicious it is fantastic to have this available this item is available at coles and woolies coles is six dollars the woolies is seven dollars again if you want to check out my review i really love these ones and then over here there's so many new items at coles uh the fryers family stars and moon another novelty item here but i'm sure this is going to be a hit with the kids as well and then we've still got new items we've got this new one from bird's eye it is their plant-based succulent greek lamb style strips i'm going to be using this in savlakis to see how this one tastes. Bird's Eye actually have some really great meat alternative options available these days and I'm a big fan of their mince. And now I actually just realized I didn't actually buy any mince. I was too focused on all these new items. Oh, I'm gonna actually have to go to Coles and get some of the mince. But anyway, too focused on these new items, but I'm really keen to try these out in some Sablakis. Just my winter go-to at the moment is the rolled oats. I'm having my oats in the morning, loading it up with heaps of good stuff. So winter, it's cold, comforting meal is my oats in the morning. Over here, we also have these Arnott's TV snacks, caramel crunch are the only TV snacks flavor that is vegan friendly. I'm actually gonna make some like hot dogs. So my kids have never had mustard before. So we've got the, Master Foods American Mustard here. And what it actually says down there, vegan friendly. I'm actually really keen to see if kids like mustard. So besides the fact that I got too overwhelmed with all the new products, I forgot the bird's eye plant-based mints, but fantastic little haul here. Gonna have to go to Coles later to get the mints. But anyway, there we go, friends. That was Coles and Woolies and a massive vegan friendly haul. So just over $300. We also get some fresh produce delivered from Garden of Vegan as well. So if you wanna check that out, definitely check out Garden of Vegan. They send like produce straight to your door, fresh organic produce, local. Um, so definitely do check that out. Expecting that to arrive tomorrow, but this was our massive grocery haul for the month of June. So there we go, friends. That was our monthly haul for Woolworths and Coles. And as I said, we get the majority of our fresh produce 
from Garden of Vegans. I love doing these hauls. I really hope you enjoyed this little bit of an insight of what we are currently buying and also discovering how many items at the shops are actually vegan friendly. You don't have to miss out as a vegan these days. There are so many options. It is honestly so accessible these days. Anyway, friends, that is it. So if you enjoyed this video, check it a like, share it around, and comment below if you have tried any of those new vegan items that are now available at Woolworths and Coles. A fantastic to have so much options available. And also, if you wanna stay up to date with more vegan friendly content in Australia, definitely do subscribe to this channel. I am your number one source of vegan content in Australia. So anyway, friends, until next time, I'll catch you soon.